on your friend Dravmir. I've seen Drachmir pretend to be many saints. My friend was never one of them. It's been taken care of. He's not gonna be a problem anymore. Thank God. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad you did. Listen, if you ever need documents for something... I'll be fine. Thanks. <laughs> Nothing to interest you. Keep your safety off. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Lovely city, yes? Yeah? Enjoying the sights? Sometimes you have to stand up to people. Do the right thing. What a place. Are you sure? I do not think that sounds right. And it has to be a violation of our rights. It's a nice time for a war. Hey, Jensen, are you close? Things are getting uh, complicated over here. I could really use your help. I'll be there when I can, Kohler.
anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. The MP is ready. in the dungeon, man. You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? Nothing I couldn't handle. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I, I 
don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those saddy fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then... Well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Well, uh, feel my way around. Hang on a sec, you're gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Altar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikoladze. He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure, or what? All right, let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, right? Where, where did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking augs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease out. Okay, no freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Carla? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. It's okay, Jensen. One isn't gonna kill you. You've said that before. See that? 
major spike in your power consumption. Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you wanna use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay. So I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. Thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new augs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. Why would Sarif have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Sarif job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Saris touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. It was a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator.
there's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise, I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But my last shipment got intercepted by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard of Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Man, you know I... What's up? Yeah, yeah.
Benson. I'm getting worried. Should I be calling every police station in town looking for you? That's not necessary. I'll be in soon. Good, because we've got work to do. Jensen, it's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. Let's get to business. Whatever. Thanks for calling me back, son. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all... I'm not interested in your sympathy, Seraph. We've got more important things to discuss. Like my doctor finding dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? My god, you've got a Titan dog? It's impossible, it was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the US. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. These schematics you saw, don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. 
I'm leaving for London soon. I've got meetings with Nathaniel Brown and the Santo Group there. But I can make phone calls, uh, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead. Why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. <laughs>